Oh, come on. What the hell? Uh, there's got to be a better way. Hello, welcome to Topper Machine, I'm Josh Topper. So, as you know, setting up parallels can be tricky, can be a problem, and I have some really easy shop solution for this, but I'm gonna show you all the options there are for keeping parallels in place. So our first option here is this spring-loaded parallel keeper. And quite honestly, I don't like these. I was given this one and I've never really cared for it. Um, I have a better solution that I use myself but I'll show you how this works. So basically you just squeeze this thing and stick it in there. And I find it actually easier to put the parallels in afterwards with this thing. Um, and it works well. You can open and close the vise, it'll stay with it. But again, these things, I've seen them over $100 a, a set for one of these things. So it's, it's not, not an economical solution. Now another solution that uh, we tried years ago in the first shop I worked in was uh, double-sided tape. And it worked okay, except when you went to take it off. This stuff stuck so hard, you had to actually scrape your vice jaws clean. So not a good solution either. Another option for keeping your parallels in place are rubber bands. Where you just slip your rubber band over your your vise and hold it in against the, the jaw. Now, this is not a solution that I like. I've never liked this option. And for quite honestly, I don't keep rubber bands on hand. So I would have to go buy rubber bands, which means I would have to go to town. I would have to remember or put them on a list, spend time trying to find the rubber bands and then spend 10 or $12 on a bag of rubber bands that I will never find again once I get home. So this is not a solution that I care for at all. My solution to this problem is far cheaper than any of these other options and quite honestly is by far my favorite option. My favorite solution by far is pallet banding. And you can take this, you can bend it into a V if you're doing close up work where your parallels aren't far apart, or you can bend it into a Z shape, and it's basically a spring steel. So it makes a spring, and you just drop it in there, and it holds your parallels. So being the Z shape, you can open and close your jaws, it'll just follow, hold your parallels right in place. It's absolutely free. You ever get a pallet in, just snip off a few pieces and make some keepers. And I have several different sizes that I've made over the years and just hang up on the wall with my collets. And if they fall on the floor, you lose them. Hey, no big deal. Let's go cut another piece of banding. So in over 20 years in this business, that is the best method that I have found to keep parallels in position. It's free, it works effectively, and it's readily available. So definitely the best option that I've come up with in over 20 years of doing this. So if you like this kind of stuff, if you like the videos, check out some of my other content and the palette that I took the parts off of, the, the banding off of, that is an upcoming job, a three inch bar stock we're gonna be turning into bolts. So stay tuned, cool stuff coming. So until next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.